Hello, say Charata. This is a video for you who are studying and you want to increase your focus, you want to increase your ability to concentrate. And it doesn't matter if you are studying for a test in elementary school or a professional certification exam. You may be studying a foreign language or simply trying to read a book. When you try to devote your mental energy to a task and you can't seem to find the discipline you lack in focus. So, you begin to study, and after a few minutes, you are already getting up from your chair to do something else. This is lack of focus. If you begin to study, and then you feel that irresistible urge to check something quickly on your phone, you're lacking focus. We get anxious when we don't have what we want. When your mind is focused only on the end goal, the end result that you want, well, you will be inevitably frustrated with every single second in which you have not reached that goal. This is obvious, this is quite logical. You're experiencing anxiety because you're not there yet. You are attached to the idea that you will only be happy if you have something that you don't have. And that is, the present time is a source of agony, of frustration, of sadness. This makes it quite impossible to sit in front of your book. Develop your focus in the present. The reason for recommending deliberate practice is that it helps you to return to the present moment. At this point, I imagine some people grumbling like, gee, I thought that this guy was going to say something about how to increase focus on study and suddenly he's giving us tips on how to stay in the present moment. It sounds like those cliches, like the journey is more important than the destination or... Happiness is not a station, but the train itself. Or the purpose of life is life itself. Well, it all says the same thing, doesn't it? When your goal is to be present, conducting the practice of the study, there will be a shift in thinking. There is a big difference in how you face the challenge ahead. When you are really shifting the focus of your attention to what you're doing right now, at this very moment, there is no anxiety. Control of focus is the first step to everything. If you want more complete training, you can enroll now in our focus course that is specifically designed for you to complete in one single day. It will be a course of three hours of uh, video trainings that you can perform in the comfort of your home and you can start right now by visiting arata.se forward slash focus course. In the focus course, we have a very detailed explanation of how you can have focus in the present with exercises to reinforce what you have already learned. It will help you a lot. Practice letting go of the result. To focus on the present and be able to study effectively, you have to learn detachment. You have to give up, at least temporarily, your attachment to the desired result. If you stay attached, to the end result, which is your desired level of mastery of that particular subject, you will never be able to stick to the practice. And that's the big problem. When you detach from the outcome, something amazing will happen. All of that expectation, all that pressure will go away. Anxiety, the soul evaporates. You can be calmer and more aware that you're doing one thing at a time. You will achieve more clarity and resume control of your focus. You will silence that inner dialogue, that judgment about all the things you should be doing, who else is doing something different. Reframe the way you view errors. Right now, you possibly kick yourself for every mistake you make. When you are focused on the present moment, though, every mistake is a learning opportunity. Mistakes are no longer a barrier. And learning becomes discovery. Best of all, when this study is done mindfully, without stress, without comparing where you are and where you should be, what will happen? You will be doing the practice. You'll be improving every time, step by step. You'll not be saying to yourself, oh, oh no, here comes that difficult part. Oh gosh, I always do it wrong. I always make mistakes. I'm terrible at this. Oh, what am I doing here? I have no talent for that. Beware. Oh the golem effect. Remember that? We saw that in episode 46. You can go to arata.se forward slash hello 46 to see it again. Stop thinking of other things. Just think about the study before you. 
When your head is somewhere else, thinking of other things, including judgments that you're not doing the right things, that you have some difficulty with that particular subject matter, or that the teacher was not explaining it properly, or anything like that, you are distracted. Your focus is scattered. You're thinking about other things, but not the practice itself. All these thoughts are useless. They will only hinder you. This is an extra layer of thoughts that only make things harder. They, it will steal your energy, your concentration, your focus. When you're fully focused on the activity, you don't have that second layer of thoughts. Yeah, there will be distractions, but you're watching what you're doing. You're studying, you're doing your practice. You are absorbed in the result of what you're doing right now in the moment. Then you can watch the results of whatever you, is it that you're doing. Then you can redirect your practice in order to have the continued improvement. This is deliberate practice. We don't want to lose the connection to the present moment and then get too attached to the end result. The focus on results makes you judge yourself. You start to have that internal dialogue. You'll be thinking that you're not good enough. And this will create those mental dominoes, one after the other, taking you to another line of thinking that will be assessing whether you're doing it right or not. When we focus on the present moment, we're emotionally indifferent to the outcome. We accept things the way they are, and this allows us to be clear about how our practice is evolving. Be patient. Anxiety affects the quality of your practice. You have to dedicate focus on your study. Mastery develops when you stay in the process, in the practice. Learn to enjoy the process. To perform exercises that will help you to be in the present, you can enroll now in our focus course, go to forward slash focus course.